Hi there, it is Q&A Wednesday, and I apologize for starting a minute or two late. Uh, it seems to me like I just book everything as close together as possible. That's just kind of how my day runs. So um, anyway, we're here. I'm actually at MA Fitness in Kennewick um, and just finished training for the evening. So I wanted to make sure I jumped on here as close to time as possible. And I see that my lashes are doing something a little weird right here. So it's kind of freaking me out as I go. But um, anyway, so Q&A Wednesday. Have a great topic tonight. Actually, I've covered this topic before. It's a great topic um, because I get this a lot. I have a lot of people ask me, you know, do I really need to track my food? Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But I also want to talk about a couple of other things really quick. Um, so for those of you that have been hopping on and paying attention to the couples challenge that link will be live and available just as soon as I get done tonight so if you are interested in participating in that challenge um, it's 25 bucks and that's just a great quick investment so that number one you take it seriously because that's what I've learned if people in, invest in themselves they tend to take the, the the challenge or the goal a little more serious seriously but that also helps me invest in some prizes so um, <laughs> <laughs> whatever's motivating I'm all about the all about the prizes so that should be up and um, available just here in a few minutes I'll actually post it to down below um, but I'll also I'm gonna provide a whole other post really quick so that everybody has that opportunity to actually see what's involved if you weren't listening in on Monday night um, when my husband talked uh, my husband and I talked a little bit about the challenge for the week um, and what's available I've already got lots of people who've been bugging me um, about this so I'm already six or seven in hi Angelica um, uh, people that are involved so you know jump on there because we're only taking a, a total of 30 couples um, only because I know that there's gonna be some individual needs um, and I wanna make sure that people get a little bit more attention. Um, but it is overall about involving your family in your health. Um, and so even if it's not a couple, even if it's you and your daughter or um, your son, or you know maybe you live with someone who means a lot to you um, and they wanna participate, it's all about getting the family involved and being a little bit healthier. So that's what that couple's challenge is about. Um, and I'll also post a little bit about, it's not just who has the biggest physical change, um, it's also about following the challenges and reporting back a little bit. So um, keep that in mind. There will be some accountability on that. But so for tonight, um, our topic is, do I really need to track my food? I get this all the time. People, it takes so much time. I just don't have time. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, honestly, it just really depends on what your goal is. Um, you know, if your goal is just to feel a little bit healthier, well, you know, yes and no um, as for tracking your food. You know, there's some definite benefits to tracking your food and when people want to see big change in their physique or even how they feel because sometimes people don't realize that what they're eating may sound healthy um, I think one of the biggest things for me as I started to make that change and, and eat a little bit healthier um, it came down to the fact that foods that you know I thought were healthy because of course lots of gimmicks and how the company promotes their food it sounded healthy come on I used to eat five or one bars you know, doesn't that sound great? I see these commercials for these new Fiber One cheesecake, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you know, it's okay because it's healthy. No, it's not. How much sugar does that thing have? It is not healthy. It is a processed food. Does it have more fiber? What kind of fiber does it have? Um, that's a totally topic for another night. But, um, you know, sometimes when we aren't paying attention to what we're eating, we don't know um, what, you know, what those disbenefits, you know, what the issues are, or um, we're going to talk a little bit about that in a second. But anyway, so we're going to talk about the benefits of tracking your food. Now, if you look at any of the companies that are focused on weight loss um, or any of the mo most conventional companies that promote um, some sort of a diet, um, you know, Jenny Craig, uh, Weight Watchers, um, you know, to some extent, to some degree, they have you track your food. They know that in the, the whole important part of that is what you what you measure can be managed, right? So if you don't know what you're eating, there's there's too many variables that get thrown in there. And we're gonna talk about that in just a sec. That you know, if you for me, it's if I don't know what your formula is, I don't know how to help you fix it, right? Um, for a lot of people, the, the first challenge I usually get when I challenge people to track their food um, is don't even necessarily change anything. Just make sure that you're inputting it into a system. Um, now, you could write it down, but there's no benefit to just writing down, you know, I ate a cup of cereal. That What does that tell me? You need to know how many calories that is. You need to know all the macronutrients to that. Um, you know. Some people need to pay attention to sodium. Most people need to pay attention to sugar. Not only that, but if you're not paying attention to serving size, you're doing yourself a huge disservice because <laughs> tracking means nothing without the serving size. So there's definitely some, way, some important ways to do that. 
writing it down is tough because now you have to look up all of the nutritional information versus using an app. Of course, there's so many options these days. Why would you not use an app like MyFitnessPal? My it's free. You don't need the premium version. Um, you can get everything that you need to know just on that free application. Um, and I, you know, I use it on my, um, my iPad. You actually, it's networked together so you can look at it on a computer versus your, your notebook versus your phone. Um, it's usable in any form and it just networks together so that you can hop on there wherever you're at and add what you need to and I do have um, some tips on that in just a minute but let's talk about the benefits of tracking your food so whether you have a and of course I don't like a weight loss goal I prefer to call it a fat loss goal um, because you know how I all, how, how I feel about weight loss um, but if you have the desire to change, whether it's your physique, whether it's how you feel, you've got to be able to track, right? For a couple of reasons. Number one, um, it gives you the ability to really look at hard numbers, right? Um, you know, a lot of people kind of delude themselves that, oh, this is fairly healthy. You know, I'm eating a granola bar. That's fairly healthy. But without seeing all that information about, okay, well, that healthy granola bar has 20 grams of sugar. How exactly is that healthy? You know, it, sometimes it's hard to make decisions that way, but by putting it, filling that information in, you can start to see why you're not seeing the change that you were hoping to see, right? Because that's your formula. You know, when you look at your overall formula and it's right there in front of you telling you the truth, then you can start to make some choices, some healthier choices to actually change a variable in that formula in order to see the results that you want to see, right? So, um, that's that's important and it's tracking the food is not just the calories so you know if you're just you know calories in calories out you're not getting enough information the different nutrients do different things for your body and your body treats them differently um, you know there's a whole lot of research on even nutrient timing when you eat those nutrients according to what you're doing for the day you know the majority of the carbs that I want to eat I need to be putting around my workout so that I get the energy and the muscle build that I need from it so nutrients, the, the macronutrients do matter. So here's the deal. You know, a lot, a lot of people say, well, I know I'm eating healthy. And I'm like, uh -huh, prove it. Uh, track for a while. But here's the deal. If you can't tell me right from the get-go, not only just what your calories are, but how many grams of protein you're averaging per day, how many grams of, of just all the macronutrients, proteins, carbs, fats, and uh, honestly, I want to know sugars as well. Um, and on top of that, for most of my clients, I want to know how many calories they burn. Now, a Fitbit will give you, to some degree, some decent information. It's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it will give you a good idea. Because for some people, it's not about eating too many calories. Sometimes it's about not eating enough, right? Um, and we've talked about that before, that if you are starving your body, it does not know that you are on a diet. It just thinks, oh my God, she is not eating enough food. I'm gonna hold on to everything that she does eat, okay? So by actually paying attention to that, it will tell you the full truth. Where are you at? Are you getting enough calories? And for those of you who actually are trying to gain weight, which is just as difficult, are you getting enough calories? You actually have to have a surplus of calories. So, you know, keeping track will really help you with that. Um, sorry, I had to run in here with my notes really quick, so I gotta make sure that I have them in front of me. So, you know, keeping track will give you the truth, right? It's, it's everything, and everything counts, right? When you're tracking, you know, don't just think that because you walked by your coworker's desk and, and, you know, took a handful of jelly beans out of the bowl that those don't count. Those absolutely count. If you go through the Starbucks drive-thru and you get a mocha choca fraca whatever, those calories count, you know. To be honest, I'd rather eat my calories, but a lot of people don't realize how many extra calories they're getting, um, sometimes a day's worth of calories in their drinks. You know, it does make a difference. So, you know, by putting that down, it's it's gonna give you the truth, right? It allows you to make some decisions. Um, what, one of the things I loved, especially when I first was learning about nutrition um, and how that applied to my body, if I had to put it on there, sometimes it made me rethink eating the garbage that I was looking at eating. Hey, cookie sounds really good, but I don't wanna put it in my, my tracking, right? So a lot of times that would detour me from making some decisions where, you know, I might eat something that wasn't, at least I didn't need it as bad as I thought I did at the moment, right? Um, the other benefit of tracking is, you know, you have to be accurate. Um, eyeballing is okay once you've kind of got 
things down or maybe you're going out to eat. Um, but regularly doing that, sometimes the problem becomes that it's, it's really easy to under or overestimate. Um, and by weighing and measuring your food, it's going to make a big difference. And when you're tracking, it's going to ask you, how much of that did you just eat? And you've got to be able to answer that. So that can be something that's very helpful versus, well, you know, I had a bowl of cereal. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> um, or like my son the other night and his peanut butter, more than he thought he was eating, right? By measuring it, it made a big difference. Um, the other benefit of tracking food, uh, and I personally like to change um, the labels on my fitness pal. You know, right now it says breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, and snacks all one group. You know, you can actually change those into six individual meals, however you choose to do that. So for some people that might be breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, whatever. Um, mine actually says meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, because that's how I eat. The other benefit to that is to see where you're getting the majority of your nutrients during the day. Not only that, but if you find that you are an emotional eater, which a lot of us are to some degree, you can actually start to track what your triggers are that make you feel like you wanna eat more food because of course it's not usually that you're hungry, hi Julie, um, it's usually that something is going on, stress, um, you know, whatever, and you need to be able to journal what is causing that emotional need um, for a food and usually a comfort food. There is a huge difference and if you aren't sure what that is, there's a big difference between being hungry, which is physically hungry, kind of that tight feeling in your stomach where, ooh, I need to feed it, and being hungry, okay? And again, if, if you don't know the difference, you're gonna need to learn what that is because your body should be able to tell you when it needs food as fuel versus food as comfort, okay? Um, and if you're not sure, direct message me, we'll, we'll have a talk um, because that's super important. The other thing is that, you know what, for most people, our caloric needs change on a daily basis. Um, you know, for somebody who likes to run a couple days a week, you're going to need more carbs on those days than the days that you're not. Um, you know, when I'm doing a really, really heavy lift, I need extra calories and extra support to make sure that my body can handle that and get the rest and recovery that it needs to be able to build. So if you have no idea what you're eating on a daily basis and you're hitting a wall some days, you might just not be getting enough calories to meet the needs of the, your normal functions for the day. So by tracking your food, that will actually make a big difference. Um, you know, and, and if you're not sure, I mean, that's one of the benefits why I wear a Fitbit um, is to be able to see kind of not just what my overall average is that I burn on a regular basis, but if I do, um, I've been doing kickboxing once a week um, and I'm looking at joining a group of girls that like to train really hard um, a couple nights a week, I need to eat more food those days in order to support um, my body's needs for that. So there's a benefit, even though the, cat, the Fitbit is not perfect, um, it's gonna give you a better idea than just guesstimating. Um, another great reason to track is that you can identify habits that you have. If The funny thing is most adults actually eat only 100 different items on a regular basis. So first of all, you can usually see a trend, um, but also you can see if there's certain things that you tend to do. like. Hmm, I drink a beer every Saturday. You know, you can start to see that maybe that's the problem. You do really great all week and then you undo everything you've been working on all week um, by drinking all weekend or whatever it is. So being able to track your habits makes a big difference as well because if you don't know you're doing it, how do you know what you need to change, right? That can make a big difference. So um, another benefit is that it allows you to self-monitor and self-adjust. Um, yeah, it's great when my clients are like, yeah, I need a babysitter. Go in and look at what I'm eating. That is not my job. <laughs> my job is to coach you and to help you learn how to change those habits. Um, but if, if you hop on there, and that's one of the first things I kind of teach my people to do is not just look at the calories this direction, turn your phone this direction, and look at the nutrients at the bottom because you're going to learn a whole lot about what kind of foods that you're eating. Are you getting way more sugars than you need to? I would say the biggest issue that my people have besides under eating calories, to be honest, um, is people be like, you know what, I'm under my calories every day. Why am I not seeing change? Can you hop on there and look? Because of course on my fitness pal, you can invite friends in and then if you open your food diary to them they can actually look um, now again I don't stalk people because I literally don't have time to stalk people again I'm not a babysitter I'm a coach um, but I can look on there and go honey yeah you're under your calories probably by too many but look at your sugars you are triple on your sugars and of course your body treats those a whole lot differently when you consistently give your body way too much sugar it spikes your insulin and insulin stores as fat right that it stores those nutrients as fat so that can make a whole lot of difference that's why more than calories matter right 
And the other benefit, and this is the biggest one, especially for you busy people out there, tracking your food allows you to plan. It allows you to plan ahead. Now, I think a struggle that most people have when they start to use a food tracker is that they get to the end of the day and they look and go, oh my word, I've got like 40 grams of protein left I need to eat, but I'm out of carbs. I have no idea what to eat. Thanks. Um, Similar to flexible dieting, Mike. Yeah, you know, it really, it's actually a form of if it fits your macros. Um, my only concern with the whole if it fits your macros program is so many people are looking for loopholes. They want to say, well, you know, ice cream is is a carb. Yeah, it is, but it, <laughs> it has dairy, which is actually a highly allergenic food. Um, it has a lot of sugar, right? And you, yes, you can eat those things to an extent. And yes, I hear people all the time go, I lost 40 pounds and I was eating ice cream the whole time. Good for you. It might be your metabolism and your, your DNA. Um, but for most of us, that's not an option. Our body treats sugar in not a great way, right? Um, and fruits, again, fruits are not unlimited. Fruits still have natural sugars. So by paying attention, you can usually figure out what the issues are. But the best way to track your food, honestly, is to plan the night before, right? So instead of getting to the end of the day and going, oh my word, I don't know what I'm going to eat. Um, honestly, if you wake up the next morning and you don't know what your date, what you're going to eat that day, you're already in trouble, right? Your best option, first of all, I go buy a meal plan. It works for me. I eat the same thing almost every day. I do eat more on the days that I feel, you know, that I'm finding that I need more, more nutrients to support my energy output. Um, but honestly, I look at food as fuel. It's a completely different mindset than it used to be when I was younger and much, much more heavy set that I thought that, you know, food had to taste amazing and that, you know, again, it's just different. So I look at food as fuel. So if you plan the night before, right, and you input all of that into your tracker for the next day, you should be able to tell, oh, at the end of the day, I'm not going to have enough grams of protein. I need to adjust, right? So it makes it a whole lot easier to work ahead. Now, I'm a huge fan of food prep, and I do not care whether you are a competitor, whether you are a stay-at-home mom. If you food prep ahead, you are way more likely to stay on track. Because to be honest, if I have to cook it the day of, half the time it's not gonna happen, right? I just, I run out of time. I'm too busy to make my meals on a daily basis. I plan you know, three to four days ahead, I cook everything in advance, I weigh it and measure it. And to be honest, the majority of my clients that do it find much, much more success because it's not, they're not gonna get off track, right? They're, they're not rushing through the drive-through because, oh my gosh, we're all starving. Um, I also plan ahead for my family, you know, even though my nine-year-old son eats a little bit differently than we do, if we always have a plan of what he's gonna eat that night, first of all, he can cook some of it himself, which is awesome, um, but it guarantees that everybody in my household is gonna get fed, right? So I, I have to plan ahead. My life is that busy, um, and I find it really interesting that most people's biggest obstacle um, is that they're too busy. I'm too busy to food prep. I'm too busy to go to the gym. I'm too busy to do this. But when they get into it, the first thing they ask is, well, can you give me some recipes? Okay, so are you trying to make this more difficult? Um, not that having a good recipe here and there isn't a great idea, especially if you can make a big batch of it, but I keep it super simple because the more that I start to involve, first of all, I don't do complicated. My head cannot handle it, um, but I keep it super simple. If I wanna have something, a, a great, complicated, amazing recipe, I'm either gonna save that for my free meal or I'm gonna plan way ahead and I'm already gonna know what's going on with that. So, you know, Again, if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe that's a little different. You can spend a little more time on that. But most um, stay-at-home moms that I know are going to tell you they're just as crazy busy as I am, right? Um, and, and even though I'm a mother of five, two of them are out of the house now, um, you know, I work a business. My husband works a business. We go separate directions. It's crazy at my house. I have to plan ahead. So, you know, your best off, if you want to have success, success does not happen by accident. It happens on purpose because you plan ahead, you do what it takes, and then you have a big enough goal that the obstacles don't matter, right? So that day that, you know, nothing ended up being the way that you thought, um, the in-laws decided to come for dinner, and you're, you're scrambling there, you don't get off track, right? It, it makes a huge difference. So. A um, couple of other just quick tips on um, tracking your food. Something I found super interesting that you may not know is that you know even the packaging, here's the downside of processed food. Even the packaging and the nutrition information, although I find it helpful to read the nut nutrition labels and the supplement labels, um, not just the labels, but including the ingredients. Um, did you know that legally those 
labels can be as much as 20% off. I find that really frustrating. Um, same thing with going to a restaurant. Even though it's important and a good idea to look up the nutrition information on the meals that that restaurant serves, you're dependent upon a lot of things there. It could be that the server decides they want to, the cook throws way more on there, or maybe they use butter, um, which they don't, they didn't take into account in when they calculated those nutrients. So keep in mind, you know, it, it comes down to, you're not going to have everything perfect. Excuse me. But the more that you pay attention, the better off you're going to be, right? I just found that to be an interesting fact and, and really frustrating, to be honest. Um, same thing with any label that says, if it has, if it, even if it says zero grams of sugar, if that product has less than 0.5 grams um, per serving, per serving, so check the serving size, that could be a teaspoon in that product. They do not have to list that as having sugar. You have to pay attention to the, in, the ingredient list. And if you see, you might even just see sugar, but anything ending in ose, um, is a sugar um, and also there's a lot of other options a lot of other things that um, are kind of hidden sugars so you know anything like corn syrup solids um, there's just there's a lot of trickery that goes on in there right because of course they just want you to buy the product so that can be a problem so a um, couple tips from me um, like I said you one of your best success tips is plan your meals and input those that information into your tracker in advance. It saves a whole lot of time. Um, and when people come to me and say, I just didn't have time to put in my tracker, uh, take five minutes, turn off the TV, turn off Facebook, and get it done the night before. It's, it's gonna make all the difference. Um, we talked about using an app versus writing it down. Back in the good old days, I remember having to you know look everything up in this really thick book that would talk about all the nutrients and having to pencil it all out and get a calculator. Guys, my fitness pal does it right there for you. It just, you enter the information, it pops up the list, it has all the nutrient totals and all the information you need, um, and it has a great database of foods. So you, it's everything that you need. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm not really technologically savvy, but I can use the heck out of that program. Um, you know, we talked about paying attention to the time of day, the time of day you have cravings. Um, the other thing is if you go too long without food, you should be able to see that on your tracker, the way that you list it down, you know, you might have to plan something. Or if you find that you're forgetting, which I know some people do, which to be honest, I don't 100% understand because I plan my entire day around food. Um, you might have to set an alarm on your phone to say, hey, stop and eat right um, and I know a lot of people have jobs that it makes it really difficult but you know what nobody else can take care of that for you you, you have to make that decision um, if you were a diabetic and you were working and you were gonna pass out right they would allow you to eat so why trying to be healthy um, is not a requirement for food I don't get it but you know um, that has to be your choice um, don't forget to track the extras condiments um, you know that cream or that little bit of, of creamer that you put in your coffee still makes a difference It still probably contains sugar um, You know you licked the bowl or licked the spoon after you got done making the cookies that all makes a difference So if you're seeing that you're not having results You might got to take a step back and find out where those extra calories and those extra nutrients probably sugar um, is coming from um, and of course look at the macros not just the calories so I would say that the biggest benefits of that food is, you know what, self accountability. Um, you know, if you're not putting everything down, if you're cheating the system, you're only cheating yourself, which is, you know, it, it's your nickel, right? Um, but that's important. It helps give you focus on trying to eat a little bit better. Um, it's going to tell you the truth and it's going to tell you what your formula is so that you can make changes. So, um, you know, you don't have to do it forever. Once you feel like you have it down, yeah, you can eyeball it for a little while until you see in one way or another that you're starting to go backwards, your clothes are getting a little tight, um, you don't feel as good, those kind of things, then you might need to go back to tracking a little bit. But to be honest, I've been in this lifestyle um, to some degree um, for over seven years now. And I'm gonna tell you that the majority of the time, I weigh and I measure everything that I eat. Is that silly? Well, your choice, but you know what? It's been able to keep me on track so that I don't get to the point where I'm saying, okay, what happened? You know, I did so well and then all of a sudden I went back to old habits. Um, it does make a difference. So um, anyhow, hopefully that helps. Um, you know, it's 
it, I guess it comes down to how bad do you want it, you know? Yeah, there's some things you're going to have to do. Is it going to be difficult? A lot of times it is. It's going to be new. It's going to take extra time. Um, but you have to decide which you want more. Do you want to feel good? Do you want to be healthy? Do you want to look and feel a little bit better? Which, by the way, we're going to talk a little about a bit about, about tomorrow night. Um, the topic actually tomorrow night will be have something to do with, um, I haven't figured out the exact title, but something to do with I hate myself. Um, and I'll tell you more about that um, in, in my post and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Um, in uh, Facebook Live Real Life Edition. So keep that in mind. If you're interested, you'll want to tune in. Of course, you know I, I post everything when I'm done. So have an incredible evening. If you haven't already downloaded it and you are trying to make a change, guys, my fitness pal. I mean, come on. Nothing could be easier. It also syncs with your Fitbit. Um, so, you know, they've made things to be the easiest possible. Um, and why not utilize all the tools that you have, especially when it really doesn't cost you anything extra except for maybe a little bit of time of your day. So have an incredible evening um, and we'll see you if you join us tomorrow night.